more than a year after Leah Shaibu and 111 other Dapchi school girls were adopted in government girls science and technical secondary school. Thoughts of her being the only girl left in Boko Haram's captivity remains a huge burden on the government of Nigeria. The abduction of Leah Sharibu On Thursday, Nigeria's highest lawmaking body reached a resolution asking the federal government to do all it can to return Sharibu back home. Senate's intervention followed a she point of order by Senator Sheu Sani. Her continuous detention in the hands of the captives shall touch on the conscience of all Nigerians. The federal government must not be tired of exploring all possible means of reaching out to those who are holding her and others hostage to secure their freedom. In 2013, Shehu Sani was one of government's negotiators asked to dialogue with Boko Haram. Shaibu has become a valued hostage ever since government failed to secure her release last March because the 15-year-old Shaibu wasn't prepared to renounce a Christian faith for freedom. I think it is important for us to understand and to know and to continue to take the advantage of the options of dialogue to see the possibility of getting her out of captivity. This was on a day Senate read for the second time a bill for an act to establish the Federal University of Environment, Science and Agriculture in Ogoni land. That the proposed Federal University of Environmental of Environment, Science and Agriculture in Ogoni land should replace the center of excellence in the report as the objectives set for the center are more than what a mere center of excellence can handle. Senate on Thursday also confirmed the appointment of three career ambassadors designate and also confirmed the appointment of Kabiru, Kabiru Nikawa as chairman, National Bureau of Statistics, Omo Bazwaye, AIT News, Abuja.